put some crack on it, he said. What's up, guys? It's Pete from Crank Systems, BigMusclesBiggerHeart.com. I'm sitting here with Rob. This is called Business Glasses Day. And uh, we're just talking about, um, I don't know, how people have been changing. Um, they've been losing a lot of the weight. We tell them not to get on the scale, but for some reason you guys still do it. I guess that's just one of your idiosyncrasies. I don't even know what that word means. Or it's just one of your habits to step on the scale because that's what you're used to. Um, I got two messages today for people that haven't stepped on the scale. Um, they've been with us for about four to five months and now have lost 20 pounds each, tons of inches off their waist, and um, just 10 times happier and 10 times stronger. Um, so I just want to say congratulations to you guys. You guys did a great job and are still continuing to do a great job. Now we released a ladies video. And uh, the response we got is that a lot of girls are still scared to join. But if you look at the girls that are in the video, um, most of them are built the way that you want to look or built the way you want your body to look like. So if you don't step or do what they're doing, then you're not going to have the same success rate. All right. For us to run a business, we pretty much mimic what other successful business people do you know that's what you do you don't just reinvent the wheel you just you you do what other people do to be successful so if you want to lose weight and you want to be fit you do what they're doing by you walking outside for an hour a day is not going to make you ripped up and toned i don't care what fucking commercial tells you it's going to i don't care what pill you take this is a magic pill it's fucking water okay i could tell you this i could pee in this and then tell you to drink it and you're gonna think you could lose weight that way. But it's just a gimmick. There's no gimmicks, it's just hard work. That's what it comes down to. It's, it's getting out of your house, warming up, fucking coming in, working out with us, and then just going home. Eat right, and those, that's gonna solve your problem. That's your problem. Your problem is not us, it's not the world, it's not your fucking thing, it's you. You don't want to change. You're too scared to come into crank. You're too scared to go to another gym and step out of your box. You're too scared to hire a personal trainer. I'm not, I'm not saying you have to come to us, all right? But if we're giving you videos of, of people that are successful, people that are changing their lives, people that are seeing results in three months, then there's something wrong and it's not us. The thing that's wrong is you and you're not stepping out of your comfort zone. So um, I'm not trying to pull you into crank I'm not trying to make you come and work out with us even though that'd be cool <laughs> I don't know my camera just broke and I was just about I was ranting into this camera pretty pretty well off and um, I don't know man it's it, it's pretty much at the end of the day it's all about you um, when you're ready to do it when you're gonna finish talking and talking and talking about how much you want to change your lives and want to do something about it, then contact us. Give me an email, shoot me something, because I got a lot of people that do this but never step through the door. I see a lot of people do this and complain, but they never do anything. I don't see them in the gym anywhere. Um, so at the end of the day, if it's not in you, in your brain, in your heart to want to do it, then no one's, nothing's going to happen. Okay, just be happy with what you are and what you have. Um, and that's another topic that I want to get onto is people looking at magazines and, you know, seeing pictures of girls. I don't even know this wasn't a picture of girls. I'm going to pull this up. It's not even a picture of a girl. But, you know, you're, you're trying to emulate this image of what is not you. Instead of looking, people are like, oh, I want her abs. I want her arms. I want his chest. I want his bicep. It all comes down to a genetic frame. And that's what magazines don't tell you. Um, because as much as you try to work hard and you know you do these things, you're gonna get to a point that your body won't let you do things. You know your body type just doesn't have it. Like me, I'm still I'm always gonna have a little bit of a gut. You look at Rob, everyone hates his guts because he's he has a great genetic frame. I mean he works hard for it. He, you know he he does his work. He fucking lifts heavy. He, you know he's very consistent in his working out, but he has a great genetic frame. And I'll never look like Rob. There's no way in hell that I, that's gonna happen. You know, and you have to accept that. So instead of looking at the magazines and trying to be that person, why don't you look at yourself five months ago? Why don't you look at the pictures you had two years ago and be happy with that and try to progress from here? Look at those pictures instead of looking at the fucking magazines you see at the airport, the magazines you see at fucking 7-Eleven. Because that's all bullshit. 
That's not you, that's someone else. And if you have that genetic frame and ready to work out three times a day, diet like a fucking 12 year old girl, and fucking just do cardio up the asshole, then that, maybe you'll see that, that, that picture. But otherwise, just be happy with what you are and what you have. And use what you have to make yourself better. All right? Eat right, fucking crank, eat right. End of story. You'll see results. I'm fucking done. My armpit smell. This armpit smells. Freak.